Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about universal generalization. This is a bit complex to understand and in order to understand this class, you should have a basic knowledge about previous class which is existential and universal instantiation. Please watch the class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so given that a of x means if someone says that if a of x is true then from this can you conclude that for all y a of y is going to be true can we say that statement from this statement no we cannot say that because a of x here a of x is true for only one single subject in place of x it is only one single subject from this we cannot conclude that that a of x is going to be true for all the subjects for all y a of y means it is true for all the subjects we cannot conclude that this this is called universal generalization if you say that a of x one can conclude that for all y a of y if you conclude this then we call it as universal generalization yes we can do this in some situations what such situations provided some conditions in the conditions we can say that a of x one can conclude that for all y a of y what's that condition first we will understand those conditions with examples then at the end we are going to give the definition of universal generalization let's try to understand what's the conditions with an examples let's take an example all humans will die they have provided two statements all humans will die all indians are humans from these two two statements we can conclude uh, they are asking to conclude conclude all indians will die yes this is going to happen all indians are humans all human humans will die from this we can conclude that all indians are going to die so we will show it, we will show how we are going to conclude this using the derivation. So this statement all humans will die can be written as for all x, h of x, if x is a human then x is going to die. This is the first statement all humans will die. How we have written this to this statement we already discussed it previously. We are not going into the details of how we have written this statement, this predicate logic all indians are humans for all x indian of x is an indian then x is a human so these first two uh, the given two statements can be written like this now from these two statements we need to conclude all indians will die for all x x is an indian then x is going to die means from these two statements we need to conclude the third statement now coming to the derivation part the first statement for all x h of x implies d of x can be written as h of y implies d of y this is from universal specification if it is true for all x we can conclude that this is true for single subject yes we can conclude that this explanation provided in our last class universal specification similarly similarly for the second statement for all x i of x implies h of x we can conclude that i of y implies h of y yes for all x if it is true for all x we can conclude for single subject using universal specification now from these two statements we can write that uh, i of y m plus d of y how we can write this from these two statements uh, this is in the form of p m plus q q m plus r we, we can conclude that p implies r so from these two statements we can conclude that p implies r so i of y implies d of y now now coming to this from this statement i of y implies d of y can we conclude that can we write that we can write it as for all z i of z implies d of z this is what universal generalization means yes we can write in this situation why we can write this here in this situation from single subject how we are going to conclude this is going to applicable for all the subjects 
because this variable y is a free variable in our previous derivation yes y is a free variable in our previous derivation this y came from from where this free variable came from for all x so y is a free variable which which derived from for all x so that's why that's why we can conclude this i of y implies d of y can be written as for all z i of z d of z because the y is a variable which already derived from for all means from universe from universal quantifier that's why we can write in this situation we it is applicable so when it is not going to be applicable if you understand that you will get good clarity when it is not going to applicable so now take the same example with small modification suppose they have given that there exist x h of x implies d of x for all x i of x implies h of x so there exist x h of x implies d of x can be written as h of y implies d of y from existential specification means there exist x means at least one one subject is going to be true for this statement that can be written as h of y implies d of y for all x i of x implies h of x can can be written as i of y implies d of y because this is from universal specification we can write that from these two statements we can conclude that i of y implies d of y yes p implies q q implies r but from this i of y implies d of y we cannot write we cannot write for all z i of z implies d of z why why because why we cannot write because this y is a variable from our previous derivation it's a free variable this variable came from there exist what's the meaning of there exist means only few of them are going to be true not all can you use this variable to for writing it as for all no we cannot use this variable y for concluding it as for all z i of z implies d of z this is one of the case where we cannot apply universal generalization because this is a variable which derived in our previous derivation it is a free variable that derived from existential specification so we cannot convert that into universal specification and one more one more situation is there the third situation where we cannot apply universal gen, uh, generalization let's take this uh, example the given example is h of y implies d of y means they have provided this statement for this is going to be true for only one subject single subject y and for all x i of x implies h of x this can be converted as i of y implies h of y from this and the given statement we can conclude that i of y implies d of y now can we convert this into universal generation uh, generalization means can we say that uh, from this statement can we say that for all z i of z implies d of z no we cannot say because uh, y is a free variable in the given premise means uh, y is a variable which is provided it is only applicable for only one that is what the meaning of this can we say this for all the objects all the subjects no so this is the situation where we cannot apply universal generalization now coming to the definition definition universal generalization a of x one can conclude for all y a of y provided when x is not free variable in any of the pre premises that provided that is what the third example which we said it it should not be a free variable in any of the given premises and second condition if x is free in any of the prior steps means from the derivation in the prior steps which resulted from existential specification then no variables introduced by that use of existential specification appears free in a of x then we are not going to apply simply the meaning of this is if it is derived from existential specification y is a variable which is a free variable in our prior steps 
if it is derived from existential specification then we are not going to apply that for universal generalization so these universal and existential generalization specification we are going to use in our next examples so with examples you are going to get a very good clarity from the examples if so please do the examples after that if you have any questions come again and watch these topics then do the examples again hope you understand this universal generalization if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you